Governor Andy Bashir and the U.S. the USDA Rural Development Director for Kentucky announced millions of dollars in funding to help Eastern Kentucky flood victims. The more than 20 counties that received a major disaster declaration in 2022 are eligible to apply. The funds can be used to repair damaged water infrastructure as well as to reduce long-term risk from future weather events. Applications open today and will remain open for 60 days. Well, a chef at the University of Kentucky is working with NASA right now to help food taste better in space. Meteorologist Jason Lindsay takes us to the Campus Food Lab to discover the science behind tastier space food. Here we go. Chef and residents Bob Perry and I are hanging out here in a food lab on the campus of the University of Kentucky doing a pretty cool science experiment on neurogastronomy. Neurogastronomy is the study of taste. Perry is working closely with humanity in deep space to help engineer a better eating experience for astronauts. We're looking at how neurogastronomy can help the astronauts eat better and feel better. Sight and smell are crucial when it comes to tasting our favorite foods, but what happens when I cover my nose and my eyes? Will I be able to determine what's hiding under here? Smell is a large part of it. Also visual and all oral audio is a big part of it too. So we look at all these things and how we can possibly enhance the surroundings the astronauts are eating in so they'll eat better and have better health. But there are some challenges. The thing about food in space is there cannot be any crumbs that'll drift off. And of course, everything floats. So you have to be really careful. Is that pasta sauce? Back to my experiment. Close. Did I correctly identify any of the foods hidden under the cloth with my nose and eyes completely covered? Yes, I did. Two of the three to be exact. In Lexington, I'm meteorologist Jason Lindsay, WKYT. Well, engineering better space food is critical since NASA continues to prepare for long duration missions like to Mars when astronauts could spend more than two years in space. The